Hi students, in today's lecture we are going to study about adding a play button into your graph. Now as you know how interactive buttons work, we have already seen in our previous video. Now let me demonstrate, uh, instead in our previous video we have seen only two buttons which are interactive uh, on a click of one button, graph of or bar chart of first data set is going to get drawn likewise I have now total four buttons and in addition with that we have one more play button uh, let me show you basically what this example does there are total four data sets on a click of first button first data set bar chart will be drawn on a click of second button second data set bar chart will be drawn and likewise for third and fourth button uh, let me click first button as you can see this chart is going to get drawn with some animation or I would say some transition is added while clicking second button bar chart for second data set is going to get created with some transition likewise for third button with some transition data set 3 bar chart is drawn for button click 4 data set of fourth button is going to get drawn and uh, notice what will happen when I click play all it will first display bar chart and its label over here after few seconds it will show data set bar chart for data 2 and here is also shown at bottom third bar chart for data set 3 along with year and this is the fourth bar chart associated with data this okay so when I click play all one by one bar chart is going to get rendered and it will erase the previous one it will show the new one it will be there in on a screen for some few time again it will erase itself and it will render a new bar chart and along with that it also shows the text at the bottom okay so this is what we are going to get built in our this video let us look at the code for the same as you know that uh, we have one style sheet and within the style sheet the text state is nothing but the text that appears over the bar whose uh, color is white and they are 10 pixels in uh, their size. Uh, likewise we have city labels which appears over the left hand side. Uh, they shows the labels like Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata and so on. Uh, their phone size is 10 pixels. They appear in a dark grey color and they are bold in their weight. So these are the settings of city label. Whatever the data that appears in paragraph is of 10 pixel. Uh, we are going to show four different data series in the speed tag. And H3 is nothing but our header tag. Okay, so these are the CSS that is embedded CSS settings. Now let us come to our body part. Our body part H3 tag is actually associated with title. Okay, so instead of your H3, I can simply put dot title. That is also okay. And that title shows population of cities. Now here, as you can see, this population of cities. From between these two letters, there is a spacing of three pixels. Uh, if you don't wish to set all these elements, then that is perfectly okay. But your page might not look interactive. Now we have total four buttons. Okay, so first button is showing 2005, second button is showing 2010, 2015, and 2020. Now on a click of each button, we are making a call to a function show bar. Now remember, uh, in our previous example, we had only two buttons and we were making a call to show bar one and show bar two. Here we are making a call to same function that is called as show bar each on click event of all four buttons. Now instead of uh, making a call to two different or some different function we make use of only one function and we pass the name of data set that we wish to associate in that case. So while clicking 2005 
our data set 1 data 1 must get associated that's why the parameter is data 1 on a click of 2010 data set 2 must get associated that's why second parameter is data 2 uh, similarly for 2015 data set 3 must get associated that's why on click event of 2015 the first parameter is data 3 and similarly for 2020 the first parameter is data 4 because this is the fourth data set that I must get associated with. Now each data set must draw bars with some different colors. Say for example. That's why I make use of second parameter which will give us an argument the color with which bar must get drawn. So first bar must get drawn with sky blue in color. Second bar chart for 2010 must get rendered with second that is teal in color third bar chart must be dark gray of type and fourth bar chart that is for 2020 must get drawn in orange color so second parameter is the color of bar with which bar must get drawn and we have also this fifth button that is called as play all button now play all button makes a call to another function that is called as show all function now this show all function will ultimately make call to all these four functions that is show bar function itself with one parameter at a time okay so we will see it later how basically it works now we are actually showing four different data sets over your web page let me show you where it gets generated as you can see we have four different data set that is viewed over inside a page now uh, within script tag we first define our area so area is nothing but selecting a simple data div tag that is the, this div tag uh, we are appending new svg tag of width of 700 pixel and height of 300 pixel so this complete svg area is stored inside my area function now we have four different data sets which are stored inside four different variables so data 1 is one array of five values similarly data 2 3 and 4 respectively now let us see how show bar function is working now variable show bar is actually a function which takes two argument first one is data series now remember we are passing data 1 data 2 data 3 and data 4 one at a time so that whatever the parameter that is going to get passed from call is stored inside data series now instead of writing data 1 or data 2 data 3 and data 4 we are going to simply write data series and uh, the color parameter is stored inside col that is call now within this body we are choosing my area that is nothing but your SVG area we select previous rectangles and remove all the previous rectangles if there were present if they were not nothing is going to get removed and similarly all previous text labels are going to get removed uh, before we draw or we render new data Alright, now this line is not required, this is going to remove it. Okay, uh, variable bar is nothing but my area dot select all rectangle. Right, so basically whatever code that you will see over here is same as our code from our previous lecture. That is two interactive buttons. Now only the difference over here is in the binding. As you know that with the help of data method we have either bounded data 1 or data 2. Here we are going to bound data series. That is nothing but the parameter in a function. So we first remove all the previous rectangle and text. Then we bind the rectangle with data series and we bind the text with data series and we also make a call to show label function remember the show label function is same as our previous show label function uh, that we have used in our previous lecture so for details you can refer that lecture or that video also same function is there bar dot enter append rect x coordinate y coordinate height is same now width is a function of data remember uh, this console is not required, just remove this. 
okay so this is a function width is a function of data which is returning d into 10 and this width is applied with some transition so remember these transitions are used for adding kind of animation in our uh, web page so the width will transit in some duration so the duration of the width that is expanding of rectangle is for 3 seconds that's why we have added a transition over the width as well as the color of the uh, rectangle is going to get rendered in a some 3 seconds so it will start with white in color and simply progress towards the specified color that is given in an argument if you don't wish to apply transition to the color you can simply cut this and paste before the transition that will be perfectly okay let me show you the difference between the two now when i simply click as you can see it starts with black and progresses towards the uh, light blue color uh, i now have made a change that i have removed the transition from color so while i click it starts get drawn with blue in color right from the start or right from the beginning so that is the difference between the transition in color okay so the transition is only applied to this uh, width function now similarly text function is just the same as your previous uh, video lecture we have not made any changes to this bar text dot enter part this is completely as it is now this show label is also same no changes are there the only change that we have made is added a new function that is called as show all now listen carefully how show all function works so first of all when we click show all function it must remove whatever data is there over the chart so it must remove all the whatever the previous bar chart is there that's why we select body we select bottom label and we remove it uh, now what is this bottom label i'll show you when we click this play all as you can see 2005 is my bottom label after some time it is showing 2010 and it is showing bottom label all right so this bottom label when i click again this bottom label must get replaced that's why we require this and uh, we first remove this bottom label first so, and it is going to get added in the code itself so initially there is no bottom label is there so it, nothing is going to get removed so selection is empty and empty dot remove will not make any changes to our web page now in second line we select body and we append h3 and we call it as bottom label now as you know that a new h3 tag is added and this h3 tag is associated with one class that is called as bottom label and uh, the text it is going to show initially is 2005 and since 2005 bar is going to get painted in light blue color uh, the color of the text itself is blue okay so this is to show 2005 label at the bottom of bar and we are making a call to show by method again and we are passing the data series 1 and first parameter is sky blue now remember this bar must get hold over the screen for some duration of time say for 2 second or 3 second and after that it must get removed and new graphs must get painted so to make something visible for some period of second and then nothing something gets rendered after some period of time we make use of set timeout function so next line of code is going to get executed after some period of time so after painting a bar chart with data 1 set timeout function will make this complete function to execute after 5 seconds ok so set timeout function basically takes two parameter I will show you set timeout function will make use of two type of uh, parameter first parameter is the code which we need to execute and second parameter is a time duration after which 
might this code gets executed say for example if when i write 3000 it will wait for 3 second before executing this particular code now this code must get stored inside an anonymous function so i'll write down one function over here now this within this function i can call to show bar function now this show bar function now i will make a call with data series 2 and say for example the color i choose for second type of bar chart is t say for example now this call will get executed this complete function will get executed after waiting 3 seconds of time after completion of my first call okay so this is how your set timeout function works now after making a call to second function again third graph must get painted after some millisecond of time that's why i make a call to set timeout function which again wait for say for example 3 second and my call must get inside an anonymous function now within this anonymous function i make a call to show bar function okay now this show bar function now takes parameter as data series 3 and say for example here i make use of green color okay so this complete function or call will get executed after a waiting period of 3 second in time now remember one thing that before we paint a new graph with the help of show bar function we remove everything from our chart so here as you can see i just remove this extra explanation as you can see after set timeout this complete function will get executed and wait for 5 minutes 5 seconds we first remove all the bottom labels first add bottom label okay if there if it is there then we add or we change its text to 2010 we change its color we make a call to data series 2 with the teal color similarly then after this we again make a call to set a timeout function and we remove the previous bottom label we add a new bottom label and its color its text is set to 2050 its color is set to gray third type of data series 3 bar chart is drawn with the help of show bar function and uh, to make fourth bar chart again we make use of set timeout function so before drawing fourth bar chart it will wait for 5 second so data series 3 bar chart will get displayed over the screen for total 5 seconds all right so within this last timeout function again we remove label bottom we add a new bottom label and its text is set to 2020 Uh, and we call data series 4 one second one mistake is there i make a call to data series 4 all right so i'll save this document and let us observe this while calling 2005 it is showing 2005 value this is 2010 this is 2015 and 2020 data let us make a call to play all 2005 is displayed as a bottom label it is getting removed and new is painted 2010 next 2015 is getting painted and finally 2020 is going to get painted so this is all for today thank you everyone for watching this video this is munira topia signing out